everyone, quick video for you today. And I'm going to test and change a lambda sensor on a 300ZX. Not this nice one though, this one here. There's a test procedure you can do without any tools other than a flat blade screwdriver to test the actual lambda sensors. So I'm going to take you through that and then change it and show you the results. In the passenger footwell, on the left hand side, this being a JDM model, obviously, lift up the mat, lift up the carpet, there's a wooden plate, if you didn't know that already, early models are black for some reason, later ones are unpainted, or dyed or whatever. I've already taken the bolts out, under that you'll find the ECU, Oops. and in the side of it, right at the top, there's a little dial that you need a flat blade screwdriver for, a short one. It's just about there. You turn that clockwise, then anti-clockwise, with the ignition on, then start the engine, and then hold the revs at 2000, and the check engine light will flash every... Well, it will turn on every time it goes either rich or lean, I can't remember, and then turn off when it goes the other way, and it should cycle... Uh, I think five or ten times within two seconds, something like that, at 2,000 revs. You then turn it clockwise and anti-clockwise again, and then it'll check the other side lambda sensor. The manual isn't clear which one, but you can just unplug them to see which one's right and which one isn't. And if neither of them work, you, then you need a pair. So I'm going to take through it now. Right, ignition on. And... Okay then, clockwise, hold for two seconds, that wasn't quite two, then anti-clockwise, and that should, oh. yeah, check engine lights flashing, it's probably a cord, I should probably check that, right now I need to start the engine, two seconds, Right, the light is off, showing you it's either one condition or the other, I forget which. Let it warm up a second. It's not fully warmed up, it should be really, but... Right, the car's warmed up. Start it up. Give it a second to get the oil round. And then hold the revs at about 2k. Give it a second or two, or ten. You've got to get some heat in the lambda sensor before it'll work right. I've already tested them, I know this one works. This is the bad sensor. Really slow. It does change, but, uh, but clearly not fast enough. It should be much faster than that. That shows it's really really slow to react and it'll be using far too much fuel. And the problem was that this car had a misfire at about two and a half thousand revs. And I fully believe it's down to the lambda sensor. Right, I know it's this side lambda sensor because I unplugged it. The, sen the plug lives on there but it's uh, often just loose or cable tied on or whatever. And once I'd unplugged it then the uh, one sensor was still good and the other one didn't have any reading at all so I know that I've unplugged the bad one. So I'm just going to change that now. I've got in down here, had my arm under here with a spanner onto the sensor down, down there. So I'll swap that over and then see the results. Right, sensor changed and recheck. Now that's working fine. You need to turn it clockwise and then anti clockwise again, holding it at two seconds each end to swap from one sensor to the other. This is, I ended the test mode, then did that procedure once, and that swaps it to the right hand side, at least on this car. I'm not sure if they're all the same. Left hand drive may be different. But that swaps it to the right hand side on this car and 
that's flashing rich and lean rapidly, as you would expect. And to clear the test mode, just cycle the power. Let's see if the misfire is there. Nope, smooth as butter. So that's another job fixed, so thanks for watching, see you next time, and subscribe if you want to see more, of course.